Hello and welcome to another episode of Disney Movie Investigation. If this is your first time watching, welcome to the show. In each episode, we take a look at a movie that is featured on Disney+. Plus. On this episode, we're taking a look at a modern Disney favorite as we take a look at Enchanted, starring Amy Adams and Patrick Dempsey. And if you are enjoying these videos, we do ask that you please hit that subscribe button. That way you will be notified with each new video. Now, sit back and enjoy this episode of Disney Movie Investigation. So like I said, today we are covering Enchanted, and this movie was released on October 20th, 2007, and it was directed by Kevin Lima, with the screenplay written by Bill Kelly. The production companies were Walt Disney Pictures, Josephine Entertainment, and Wright Coast Pictures, with the movie being distributed by Walt Disney Studios Motion Pictures. The budget for this movie was $85 million, and it did a box office return of $340.5 million. Now, let's take a look at the production. So the initial script was written by Bill Kelly, and it was, brought to, it was bought by Disney for $450,000 in 2007. The script took three years to write, but initially it was too racy for Disney, as the original script was similar to tone to raunchy movies like Fast Times at Ridgemont High and American Pie. For example, in the original script, Giselle was mistaken for a stripper when she arrives in New York City. The screenplay was rewritten by other writers to change the tone to be more family-friendly. The movie was initially scheduled to be released in 2002, with Rob Marshall being the director, but Marshall withdrew because of creative differences. In 2001, John Turtletub was set to direct the film, but left to direct the other Disney movie, National Treasure. In 2003, Adam Shankman was placed to be the director with either Kate Hudson or Reese Witherspoon playing the role of Giselle, but this project did not get past the development stage. On May 25, 2005, it was reported by Variety that Kevin Lima was taking on the project as director, and after Lima storyboarded the entire film, Disney president Dick Cook gave the, pro the, gave the project the green light. Uh, so, filming of Enchanted, as this was the first live-action slash animated movie for Disney since Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and the film contains 13 minutes, 13 minutes of original animation, with 10 of them being at the beginning of the film. Lima jam-packed the movie with references and hidden Disney Easter eggs to reference previous Disney films. The animation was not done in-house, but with James Baxter, Baxter Animation Studio. The live action sequences were filmed in and around New York City between April of 2006 to July. Uh, songs for the film were composed by Alan Menken and Stephen Schwartz, who had previously completed Pocahontas and The Hunchback, uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame for Disney. So this was a huge coup for the Disney company to get those two. Uh, the songs were heavily influenced by previous Disney songs. And as a bit of a trivia note, uh, for the Happy Working songs, the rats and pigeons were live animals while the rest were CG animated. And in part of a huge coup for Disney, Carrie Underwood performed the Ever Ever After song during the closing credits. There was a deleted song called Enchanted performed by James Marston and Edita Menzel, and it was composed, but it was deleted from the film. So now that we know the production history, let's take a look at the cast. So we have Amy Adams, who plays Princess Giselle, Patrick Dempsey, who plays Robert Phillip, James Marston plays Prince Edward, Timothy Spell is Nathaniel, Idita Menzel is Nancy Tremaine, Rachel Convey is Morgan Phillip, and Susan Sarandon is Queen Nar Narciss Narcissa. As well as the movie features cameos from princess from former Disney princess voice actors, including Jodie Benson, Paige O'Hara, and Judy Kahn. So, in terms of the plot, the beautiful Ch princess Giselle is banished by the queen by Queen Narissa from her magical musical animated land, and finds herself in the gritty reality of New York City. Shocked by this strange and new environment that doesn't operate on a happily ever after basis. Giselle, Giselle is now adrift in the chaotic world, badly in need of enchantment. But when Giselle begins to fall in love with a charmingly flawed divorce lawyer who has come to her aid, 
even though she has always prom already promised herself to the prince back home. She has to wonder, can a storybook view of romance survive in the real world? So in terms of legacy of the movie, uh, this was the first movie to be released under the Walt Disney Studios motion pictures name and the Buena, Buena Vista Pictures name was being retired. The film was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Song with, for actually three songs for Best Song. That's How You Know, The Happy Working Song, and So Close. The theory is, is the reason that it didn't win is because there are three songs from the original, three different songs in one category that it split the vote. Disney originally planned to have Giselle be part of their Disney princess line, and it was shown at the 2007 Toy Fair where the Giselle doll was featured with packaging with the Disney Princess Line logos. Disney had a change of heart realizing that they would have to pay lifelong likeness rights to Amy Adams. However, Giselle would lead the 2007 Hollywood Holiday Parade at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Uh, along with being featured in other Disney princesses at the 2007 Walt Disney World Christmas Parade at the Magic Kingdom. So the reason that the Giselle is not in the Disney parks is because of this likeness, right? As Disney would have to pay a fee to Amy Adams for all of the uses of Princess Giselle. A video game was released for the Nintendo DS, Mobile Android, and Game Boy Advanced called Enchanted Once Upon a Time in Andalasia, and this video game is actually a prequel where Giselle and Pip rescue Andalasia from a magical spell. And finally, after a long period of development, on, on November 18th, 2022, a sequel was released on Disney Plus called Disenchanted. So would I recommend this movie? Uh, this is one of my favorites. I love this uh, movie. It's a mixture of humor with a heartfelt story. Uh, every time I watch it, I see different uh, kind of hidden Easter eggs and different Disney references. Um, if you ever get a chance to pick up the Blu-ray, they actually have uh, a, a special feature called the D-File where they ask you Disney trivia along with the movie. So it's uh, one of my favorite Blu-rays that I have. Um, I think Amy Adams' uh, performance is exceptional um, as she really carries the movie and makes the audience fall in love with her character. Um, this was before Amy Adams became a really big actress in the name of Hollywood. Uh, this was one of her first breakout starring roles. So it's definitely, uh, you could see even at this point, the potential for her to be a real player as a leading actress. I uh, definitely recommend this one and I look forward to watching the sequel because I have not seen it as of yet. So definitely one I'll check out and I will let you guys know on a future episode. So thank you so much for joining us here on Disney Movie Investigation. I would love for anyone to please leave a comment below on what they think of Enchanted. And as we look forward to our next episode, we're going to be looking uh, at a Christmas favorite as we take a look at Muppets Christmas Carol, which is celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. So until next time, I hope you have a magical day and we will see you real soon.